once we create a controller, what we want to do is we want to minimize what people can do with that controller. For example, in this case, if we're only going to rotate this controller on X, we don't want to allow the animator to select the move tool and move the ball. We want the main controller to do the up and down, left and right movement. We're going to animate the bouncing ball on the right view. So what we want to do is we want to select our controller, see what is it that we want. So in this case, it's going to be the rotation on X. And we want to hide and lock every other attribute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the attributes. I'm going to hold Command and deselect Rotate X because we want to only use Rotate X. I'm going to right mouse button over these selected channels. And I'm going to go to Lock and Hide. When I do that, it's going to lock all the attributes that we don't want anybody to use. And it's going to hide them. And I'm going to do the same thing for the main controller. I'm going to select everything that I want to hide. In this case, I'm going to select the scale. And I'm going to select the visibility. And I'm going to go right mouse button. And I'm going to go to lock and hide. And now, as you can see, we can translate on Y and Z. So that means that translate X can be locked and hidden, lock and hide. We don't want to rotate this, right? Because we're going to allow this controller right here to rotate it. So I'm going to select the main controller, and I'm going to select all my rotations, right mouse button, and I'm going to lock and hide. And now we have only the translate Y and the translate Z and the squash available for our animators. Now, if we want to bring some of the attributes back, what we have to do is we have to select the main controller in this case, and we're going to go to Edit, Channel Control. And the channel control, you will notice that where it's available right now will be under Keyable. And whatever is hidden will be under non keyable. So if we want to bring certain attributes, let's say I want to bring the translate X, I would have to find them right here under non keyable hidden. So I will find my translate X. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it to the keyable side. So I'm going to move it right here. And notice that we have returned the translate X. Now, what we have to do next is we have to unlock it. So you're going to select Translate X, right mouse button, and you're going to go to Unlock. So now this old channel right here, the Translate X, is available for animation. And that's how we lock and hide channels that we don't want anybody to touch. <laughs>